This is a, an example of how After Effects can be used to create a color combination to make the video more interesting, perhaps for credits at the end of the video or opening at the beginning. I'm using just a normal video taken uh, in uh, indoor in a restaurant with a close-up and as well as scenes from the restaurants where the waiter is moving around. I've already applied and uh, rendered the effect that I'm going to demonstrate in this tutorial and these are the results. This is the first result. I've also created another result, more pinkish, more uh, dream effect. And another one with the close-up. And another one with the close-up changing the color combination. It's basically the result of uh, three filters applied, three effects applied. And you can come out with multiple uh, results. I'm going to show how it's done. Uh, first of all, I've opened already a version of it uh, with uh, the effects already applied. These are the three effects that we're going to work with. They are called Minimax, Channel Blur and uh, Kernel, CC Kernel. I'm going to apply the three of them to a brand new video. Here we go. So the first one that we are going to apply, as I say, is called Minimax. It's something that you also have in uh, Photoshop. In Photoshop they are split into two different uh, filters. They are called Minimum and Maximum. In uh, After Effects you also have the option to apply minimum then maximum and maximum then minimum the last one is my favorite option all you need to do is just to increase the radius of the effect in order to see it immediately applied onto the video normally i tend not to exceed 10 when i apply this type of effects in particular with maximum then minimum and the next one that we are going to apply as i mentioned before is channel blur and uh, channel blur allows us to blur channels individually. So I'm going to type uh, channel blur in my uh, effects finder. There it is, channel blur. I'm going to apply directly on the same video. We can choose to blur uh, the channels individually or two at a time. Uh, in this case, uh, the rendering that I've done, one was uh, achieved rendering only the red channel, another one blurring only the blue channel, and another one with blue channel and red channel together. I've also experimented by changing the blurring type. Instead of uh, horizontal and vertical, I've uh, rendered also a version with horizontal only, which gives this type of uh, smudge effect. The third effect that I'm going to apply is called CC Kernel. I'm going to go to my Effects and Preset panel. I'm going to type CC Kernel. There it is. I'm going to apply the effect onto the video. As you can see, everything now is quite dark. I want to add a little bit more vibrancy and a little bit more lightness. So I go to my CC kernel line 1 editing and I'm going to increase the value for 1, 2 and 3 under line 1. If you want you can experiment with different values. You can also jump into line 2 which by default starts with the value of number 2 as 1. If you increase that one will overall increase the brightness of your video. As you see now if I go to decrease the value of channel blur, so I'm jumping back to the previous effect, the result changes drastically, as well as if I start working only with green, which in this case is the one that I like the least. But I'm using it here in this case to show what is the advantage of using repeat edge pixels. If you notice when I increase green, it's very obvious that the edges become pink the left and the right edge of the video. But when I turn on repeat edge pixels, that pinkish disappeared. I'm also gonna work again with the blue and red as it was before, and I want to demonstrate also how it works when we set it to vertical. This is the type of effects that we achieve. So again, uh, one more time, these are the output that I have achieved by playing with different color combination. This is mostly with blurring the blue channel. This is blurring the red channel together with the blue channel. This is only on the blue and this one is red and blue together.